Alright, I think I have a, a good enough party for this next portion. The boat is ready when you are. Will you be taking off for Lundgren Castle now then? Yep, I'm ready. In that case, do take care of yourselves. My prayers for your success will not cease until I see you get back here completely safe. We appreciate it, Klaus. Let's get going. It's hard to believe it's the middle of the day with how poor visibility is. And this isn't going on for a whole month? I imagine it's a manifestation of the chaos in Erebonia, much like the appearance of the higher elements. There's a possibility whatever Emma sends over at the castle is the direct cause. I do feel like something strange is here this time too. Oh, this time too? You didn't follow us here during our field study, did you? Well, I suppose there's no harm in admitting it now. I had my own duty as a familiar to fulfill, you know. I was to make sure this area didn't have any undesirable effects on you as a potential awakener. What kind of undesi undesirable effects? Does that mean like Graham has something to do with the Divine Knights? More Lohan Grant Castle than Legram as a whole. Once upon a time, a Divine Knight just like the Asha and Azur Knight supposedly slumbered here. Are you serious? There are more than two? For some hearing of it. All I've heard are the ancient legends, unfortunately. All I know is that there was once a Divine Knight here. And now it's gone, along with its Awakener. Gone? Gone where, I wonder? Oh look, you can see the castle now. We're almost there. Prepare for to disembark, everyone. This is one eerie old castle. Laura and Emma are here? Yep, they're inside alright. I can feel Emma's mana. Be careful on the way up. I, hear, I remember how steep it was before, and all this fog's not going to make the trip any easier. Ugh. Is there any fishing spot here? Probably not. Now that we're this high up, it should be higher, harder to fish on higher elevations in theory. Maybe the dock? Fishing? Fishing? Anyone? No. So I'm gonna check the fishing list real quick. I don't see anything for low and grin. I guess this is a non fishing area. Despite uh, how close it is to water. What a pain. Look awfully happy about seeing Emma again soon, though. I do not. Ha ha. Ha ha. All right. No destroyable objects, even though we can draw a sword. There's the castle entrance. Oh boy. I hope it doesn't close behind us again. Maybe we should use an object to block the doors just in case. Just put a bunch of barrels there and hope it's, it works. Last time we were here, the castle had this weird light surrounding it. Kinda like the old schoolhouse. Based on what I'm sensing, it shouldn't take long before... Wait, something's with her. I think Emma's fighting. Maybe it's what Emma was sensing before she left? And we've got no time to waste. We should hurry. Weapons at the ready. Right. Yeah. Last chance to prepare. Everyone has their poison resistance. 
That looks a lot like what we fought before. Laura, Emma! Is that a cryptid? It looks just like the one from Nord. Come, Emma. We'll fight with all we have. Right! So They really defeated that easily? Now, Laura! Of course! It is nerfed from last time, but still. Be gone! Whoa. Supposed to be a nerd boss here. Man, Laura's gotten even stronger. Emma's no slouch either. Her powers never cease to amaze. <laughs> Looks like they didn't need our help after all. They're not out of the woods yet. So it seems. What exactly are- That is even bigger than the other one. Holy crap. Bloodless Lizard Zell Venom. What is that? Where did it come from? Laura! Emma! Huh? Am I imagining things? Queen! Celine! We can explain after we've taken care of things here. We'll back you two up. Ready? We're right here with you, Laura. I can't believe you're here. Very well. Then lend me your strength. Let's go, everyone! Ah! A worthy adversary. Ah, they screwed up my, uh, my entire... Uh, I hate how they just forced me to use a different party. Whatever, motivate. I'll handle it. Um, very low. It's pretty much immune to everything. Uh, I do not like this formation at all. It is evil. Why would they even force me to use such a formation? Why? Ah. My turn. Okay, swapping. I leave this to you. Not to worry. Let me swap. Sorry for the trouble. I'll handle this. Don't these guys realize how inconvenient they they make f things sometimes? Oh well, just get insight on everyone so I can start dodge tanking. Rain upon us. <sighs> My turn. Bullet cyclone. Oh yeah, according to uh, apparently if you use AT uh, if you use have really high speed you can increase your chance of AT delay. Yes. All right, let's More strength up. 
My turn. Bullet Cyclone. One, two, and death. Got you. Very well. Come on. How about this? Die. Ah, she needs to be really close to it in order to get both hits in. That really sucks. Let's try this again. Do your worst. Too slow. My turn. All right. All right. More heavenly gift. May I? Gotcha. I'll handle it. I've got most of its information, huh? Overdrive. All right. One, two, huh? and death. Now. Now. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. Turn. All right. True arc slash. Yes, AT delay. Okay. I also need to recast Chrono Drive on oh, my free AT delayers. Yes. Oh good, we have all its information now. Nice, nice. Now. With pleasure. Let's see. Yes. Let's see an Enforcer's S craft. Yes. This power. One level up, seriously. Oh, finally. Yeah, I can't sense anything else here now. I think that boss only got like two or three turns tops. Dang. You guys okay? I guess the guide was right about speed increasing the chances of AT delay. Y yeah. 
It's really you, isn't it? You're all here. <laughs> of course it's us. Uh, I don't know what to say. This is all so sudden. Still, I'm happy to see you're well, Reen. <laughs> I'm genuinely lost for words. I've never considered myself as the sort to cry at reunions like these, but clearly I was mistaken. thank you enough for fighting on so that we could see each other again like this. There's no need to apologize, Reen. I swore to fight as Class Sevens. No. As your sword. I swore that my blade would not be broken until it returned to your side. And I swear now to continue upholding every word I've said. With Adios as my witness. Thanks. I really am glad to see you're all right. And the same goes for you too, Emma. I feel the same way. I can hardly believe that this is actually happening. The day has finally come where we can all be together again. <laughs> it all feels like a wonderful dream. A wonderful dream, huh? Well, fortunately, this isn't a dream. These might be tough times for Erebonia, but we're persevering. That perseverance is what brought us together again. And the fact that we found each other makes everything we've been through along the way worth it. Yes, I couldn't agree more. But I know that I wouldn't have been able to come this far if not for you. Me? You accepted me despite everything. Knowing that gave me the courage to keep going. If not for that courage, I doubt I would be here now. I'm truly grateful to you, Reen. You've really grown strong, Emma. <laughs> Celine, thank you for all the support you've given my classmates, and thank you for coming all the way here with them to see me. <sighs> oh, please, it was nothing. But I'm glad you're okay, I guess. At least I won't end up astray. <laughs> Celine, there's nothing wrong with being honest about your feelings, you know. <laughs> Oh, she's so happy. Right. Well, we've done what we set out to do here. There's no sign of any more cryptids either. Might I suggest we return to Legrand for now? Count me in. You guys are fine with that too, right? That's fine by me. We can tell you more about what we've been doing since we parted ways. Then we're off to the pier. I'm gonna do a speed a turbo for this part. The bug's actually a little less sensitive than it was on the way here. Maybe because we defeated those cryptids? Most likely so. I imagine they were accelerating the development of a problem that would have appeared regardless. So while the situation should settle down for now, I imagine it will happen again in due time. Indeed, the fundamental cause is likely elsewhere and much more complex. The gram as a whole will have to stay wary for a while, I suppose. Still, so, listening to what you had to say, it's troubling to think how unpredictable this war is. There's no telling what direction it's going to take. Yeah, unfortunately, the fighting between the Noble Alliance and the Imperial Army is showing no signs of laying up. 
And we've still got no idea what's going on over at the Academy or where, what happened to Courageous and the Viscount Arsay. It's been over a month since we last heard from either of them. I'm a little worried to tell the truth. I'm still fully convinced we have nothing to worry about in that regard. My father is alive and well, of that I am certain. I believe in him. Believe in him, then I will too. He, I'm sure he's perfectly fine. I find myself more concerned about the whereabouts of Master Eustace. Wouldn't we expect Duke Alberia's son to be easier to find than this? Eustace was in Legram at one point, wasn't he? Do either of you have any idea where he is now? He was with us when we fled the Academy, yes. Several days ago, he boarded a train to Berea hard. He was growing increasingly concerned about over what was happening in the region. I guess there was no stopping him. At least we know where he went, that's a relief. That's one of the Alliance's most well-protected strongholds now. I'm surprised it's even possible to get there by train. It was at a time, it was at a time, but not anymore. The Alliance brought, has brought in heavy restrictions on railway travel since its departure. We've been at a loss as to what to do. That explains it. Well, we can think about that when we get back to town. If it comes to it, we could always walk you there using the highways. Huh? Emma? What's wrong? I feel like I should have told you so many things a long time ago. About me, and Celine, and about Divine Knights and Awakeners. Oh. <sighs> Does that mean you're ready to tell us now? <laughs> yes, I am. It's time to finally fulfill the promise I made to you during the after party. Well, if you're sure... I imagine you've heard some of this from Selene already, but still. Enrolling at Thor's was originally part of my duty as one of the Hexen clan. It's a clan of witches that traces its origins far back into the past. I wonder if they're related in any way to the uh, to the people in the Gaghar trilogy who could use magic without using orbments. What kind of duty would have you enroll at a military academy? It's one that's been passed down through our clan for a long, long time. We must watch over the fragments of the great power sealed deep underground and observe whatever comes to pass regarding them. Just as it did for many others before her, that duty fell to Emma as well. When you say the great power, you mean Balamar, right? Did both of you know about the Divine Knights this whole time? We knew of their existence, yes as well as the fact that they choose an Awakener, and that their chosen Awakener will be drawn into an unavoidable battle. <coughs> mm. Just because you had the potential to become one, you were drawn into a great conflict against your will. And not just you, Reen. The rest of us have become secondary contractors. And yet I couldn't say or do anything for you. I couldn't even give you a simple word of warning. Right, do I have to call myself your classmate after failing all of you like that? Mm. Don't be silly, Emma. Emma? Emma, you're not going to say what I think you're going to say, are you? I'm sure this isn't what you want to hear after coming all this way to find me. But this is where we should part ways. Emma. You said it yourself, back in the old schoolhouse. You said, Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer, right? Uh. I may not always show much in the way of class spirit, but I'm confident Class 7 is the finest Erebonia has to offer. We all come from different backgrounds. And we all had things we were maybe scared to, or couldn't, tell anyone. Yeah, Reen was uh, also kept his, uh, his, uh, his origins a secret from his classmates. Crow has his past, you have yours. I have this strange power of mine that I've carried with me for as long as I can remember. That doesn't directly relate to the Divine Knights in any way, does it? No, 
Though there's always the possibility it may be one of the reasons why you were chosen. I know plenty about witches and their history, but none of that gives me a clue as to what your powers could be. Seriously? Alright then. But it would have been related somehow. The point is that even after learning I had this monstrous power within me, you all accepted me without a second thought. I feel that I'm a part of Class 7 as much as anyone else, and I'm proud to say I am too. Class 7 is only the best there is because it has every one of us in it. Me, Elisa, Elliot, Laura, Fee, Machias, Eusis, Gaius, Milliam, Crow, and you, Emma. You're not an exception. Without you, our class wouldn't be what it is. Just like it wouldn't be if any one of us weren't a part of it. Oh, Reen, I... He's absolutely right. What he said. So I don't want to hear you say anything like that ever again. We want you right where you are, guiding me, guiding all of us. And not just as a witch, but as the kind class president and caring friend you always have been. knowledge that I possess, or my position as a witch, but I always want to remain the same Emma Milstein of Class 7 that I have been since the day I joined Thor's. So please, let me stay at your side. Of course. <laughs> that goes without saying. Uh, always, Emma. Class 7 really isn't Class 7 without you in it. What a picturesque fairy tale ending. I couldn't be more pleased. And the timing couldn't have been more perfect. I can see Legram coming into view now. Would everyone mind gathering their things and. Huh? What was that hesitation? Are we being attacked? What is, that? is that an airship? It's coming from the sky to the west. Is that. Oh no, they could just shoot us in the water like this. Well, it doesn't look like we're their targets yet. They seem to be headed towards the gram or something. An Alliance airship? Wait, that's a commanding officer ship too. Indeed. Well. Seems we have ourselves some visitors. My apologies for the unexpected arrival. I should have sent word. Lamar Provincial Army Airship called Chutfa. I'm Aurelia Le Guin of the Noble Alliance. I wish to make a brief visit to the territory of Viscount Arsade. Don't tell me they captured him or something. Oh no. Or maybe they're trying to interrogate us for his whereabouts. It's a pleasure to see you again, your ladyship. And a pleasure to meet you as well, Brigadier General. <laughs> we were simply in the area, so we thought we might drop by and pay you a visit. It's been quite some time since we last met. I was hoping to take the opportunity to apologize to my master for not staying in touch. 
but I see that won't be possible. Unfortunately so. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded setting eyes on the famous Radiant Blade Master. That guy looks like he's from Nord. But I suppose I'll have to be content with meeting his daughter. I'm honored, General. I can't believe they're here. Do you know them, Reen? They seem to be provincial army officers. Their names are General Aurelia Le Guin and Brigadier General Wallace Bardius. They're said to be the two strongest generals in the provincial armies. Yeah, I don't think there are many people interested in martial arts who don't know about them. That's how famous they are. Basically, soup. Uh, this guy probably fights like a souped up version of Gaius. Brigadier uh. General Bardius is otherwise known as the Black Whirlwind. He's known for his unparalleled spearmanship. What I've heard, he has Nord blood running through him, too. Oh, I see. I wonder if that's how he came to be so tall. He seems pretty strong. A number of warriors from Nord were said to have fought with Emperor Dreykos during the War of the Lions. Perhaps he's a descendant of theirs? Yeah, that makes sense. As for the woman with him... She's a student of, uh, of Viscount Arsade, so... She's generally known as the Golden Rakshasa. She's also a countess and head of the Le Guin family, as well as commander of the Le Maire Provincial Army. And hard as it is to believe, I've heard she's a practitioner of both the Arsade and Vander schools of swordsmanship. Ugh. Mueller Vander was already practiced by the guardians of the Imperial family. Uh, Mueller was already really fast, and she sent the master of both but Laura and Mueller's styles. So she must. Uh, think she must. Uh, uh, I hope we don't have to fire as a boss in this game. Uh, we probably. Well, we just might. Lieutenant General Vander is a practitioner of the Vander School too, obviously. Is she even human? How'd she even find the time to master both? Both of them are key public figures in the Alliance. What could they possibly want in a neutral region such as this, I wonder? Still, it won't do to have you standing around here. Allow me to show you to my father's office. Klaus, would you prepare some tea? Oh, there's no need to concern yourself with that. Seeing that the Viscount isn't here gave us all the information that we needed. What might you be suggesting? Hmm. Be at ease. We didn't come to criticize anyone for the Crimson Wing's appearance near Trista. Ugh. Still, it's always good to know who you're fighting against. The way I see it, you're continuing to remain neutral now. But if it came to it, you wouldn't be afraid to take up arms for your personal sense of justice. There's no need to be hasty. We have more than enough opponents to be going on with. For now, let's focus on drawing out Craig the Red and One-Eyed Zex. We can't allow Rufus to be the only one making any major achievements. <laughs> True enough. It would please me so if you were to fight under me one day too. I believe you have the potential to surpass even me, given sufficient practice. Yeah, that's probably not happening. She'd ha- <laughs> I am honored that you would say so. Someone who's mastered two different sword styles is probably not going to be beatable without grinding to the actual level cap. And using domination courts and all other sorts of, uh, of cheese uh, uh, tactics. However, my swordsmanship is inexperienced at best. I wouldn't dare presume to have the potential to surpass anyone at this stage. I would ask that you wait until I can at least best my father in a duel before making that invitation. Then wait I shall. I look forward to the day. With that, I believe it's time we took our leave. Perhaps so. I was hoping you would introduce us to your friends, but they seem to be feeling rather shy. <laughs> Teasing them, are you? 
I'm sure we'll have the opportunity one day. I sense great potential in you. As do I. I apologize for being unable to do anything to make your visit more comfortable. Klaus, please escort them. As you wish, milady. <laughs> Come to think of it, perhaps you wouldn't mind joining me in a battle before I depart. I haven't had the joy in quite some time. I hardly think an old man such as myself would prove to be a worthy opponent to one of your strength, General. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at this point, my party, uh, one of my party members is probably equal to about up to Klaus in battle, and he probably wouldn't stand a chance against either of uh, against Aurelia. Oh, I wouldn't be so sure about that. You haven't let your guard down for a second since I stepped into Lagram. Laura! These two must have been at least Enforcer tier. <laughs> I'm sorry that you had to see me like that. Pressure must have been overwhelming. It took all that I had not to be overwhelmed by their sheer presence. I'm not surprised. We could feel it well enough ourselves if we weren't even in the room. That didn't stop them from noticing us, though. My fur was on end the whole time. They really did seem to be way beyond us in terms of skill. I wonder who'd win between them and Zeno and Leo. This just goes to show how many skilled people the Alliance has among their ranks. With warriors such as them on the field to say nothing of Lord Rufus Alborea, we can't afford to underestimate them. All very true. Still, that's no reason to give up now. We need to keep pressing on. And on that note, I think it's about time we left ourselves. Let's go and bring back Yusus. And once we've done that, then we can decide what we're going to do and who we're going to be fighting against. <laughs> It'll most likely Indeed. be the, the Noble Alliance. They're the greater of the evils right now. And we can't really, we can't really come up with a good reason to uh, fight against the, uh, the reformist faction right now either. Uh. Then let's start heading to Boreahard. the thing when there's two really powerful uh, uh, morally great or evil factions fighting each other even if you support the lesser of the evils they're just gonna get stronger and become even harder to beat in the aftermath so I can't see this going well f uh, uh, for the class in the end Klaus I leave Legram in your care you know Olivia is pretty much screwed the best he can do is try to cut his losses as much as possible in this war he doesn't have a, he doesn't have his own army, so I'm pretty sure either reformists or nobles will one up him. Should probably return during my absence. Please give him my warmest regards. But of course, Lady Laura, worry not. Legram will be in safe hands with me. If you wouldn't mind, everyone, please do look out for Lady Laura for me. We always do. Thanks for keeping an eye on Emma for so long. Please be well, Klaus. Uh, your words are much appreciated, but unnecessary. Oh, will be perfectly fine, I assure you. Half ahead of you will be fraught with many challenges and dangers. But I will be praying that you all will be able to navigate safely to its end, and from there, forge your own paths. Do keep yourself safe. Right, thank you, Klaus. We'll be back as soon as we're able. Looks like the generals have left already. Yeah, that's our cue to get going too. But it does look like we'll have to use the highway to get to Berea hard though. That shouldn't be a problem. Following the evil highway north will lead us straight to it. Perhaps we should pay a visit to the Bracer Guild before we head out. The receptionist there might appreciate a goodbye before we move on to Berea hard. Yeah, you're probably right. Reaching Berehard will cause the main story to advance. Doing so will make all unfinished quests disappear. Ah, why are you two so underleveled? 
Maybe I'm just over-leveled, I don't know. This thing is level 70, so I'm not that over-leveled. It has pretty high speed as well. It, huh, it's not even as strong as uh, as uh, Altina or uh, or Phantom Thief Blue One, but it does have some pretty wide area attacks. Did these two learn any new crafts? They burn con and confuse. Hmm. True armor breaker. Brilliant spin is still the same as ever. Uh, somehow she and Reen lost a rank in their S crafts. That's really weird. I don't know how they're. I don't know how they haven't gotten their original power back yet. I'm already past level 70 for most of my characters. Not to mention, everyone's speed got nerfed. The enemy's speed got nerfed as well, so I guess it balances out in that regard. Uh, you two have really uh, outdated courts for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, Brave is almost leveled up to free. Eh. Yeah, I guess he, the game did not expect me to do that much grinding. I was mostly grinding for you material so I could make more e an evergreen. And make it an upgrade of my quartz as well. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.